Hello Sammy from MUFC Insight here and Manchester United have grabbed another vital win away from home at the home of the champions 3-0 um, and it was another very 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 vital win and pivotal win in this race tight tight race for the top four we saw before this game Manchester City moved to third so we knew we had to play catch up and then we've got teams like Liverpool and Arsenal yesterday dropping points and we needed to capitalise because on Wednesday night we didn't and I was saying trust in Jose Mourinho but there was some sort of mentality issue. I said we couldn't capitalise on other teams' failings but today it was a different story of beat Leicester away from home 3-0. Very, very, very comfortable. They were terrible but I thought we were impressive. We, it was unspectacular and we just did the, what we needed to do. 3-0 was deserved. The, it was a deserved score and we had nine shots on target compared to their one 68 percent possession and they we really just dominated them our counter-attack our counter-attacking movement i thought in the final third was brilliant or the way we um turned transform from defense into attack was brilliant to see and in the first 30 minutes i thought it was slow turgid again and i thought it'd be one of those days where we would just get another nil nil draw or some sort of draw but it was different because Mourinho switched up from we were playing a 4-4-2, which looks good on paper, but when it actually comes to crunch, it doesn't. We I don't think it just looked like a formation we haven't played all season. And it was exactly that. And we changed it up, played a 4-2-3-1. Mkhitaryan played just behind Ibrahimovic in that number 10 position and that changed it up. I thought he offered more fluidity in our attack and he's probably our most fluid attacking player out of everyone, I think. And Mkhitaryan was very, very impressive during the win and I thought that Manchester United could um, press on and get another second or third and that's exactly what we did because 87 seconds later, Zlatan Ibrahimovic popped up with a fantastic win play from Antonio Valencia who's been a very very impressive all season bombs down that wing plays it cuts it back to Ibrahimovic who does what he does and finish it us off finishes it off just before half time because at half time don't think we deserve to be 2-0 up but what for the first time this season we were clinical and that's what we needed to do we needed to be clinical but in the second half Leicester were awful and we were all over them and the game was done and dusted Mkhitaryan and Juan Mata had beautiful interchange and interplay played a lovely one too and Mata just slots it home after crunching tackle on Jamie Vardy which I love from Mata and Jamie Vardy obviously was trying to wind up our players, but it didn't work. He did it a couple of seasons ago, but it didn't work here this time. And what Leicester do look like relegation candidates, and they played not like champ Premier League champions, but like relegation candidates. I thought they would turn up and play how they did against Manchester City, but I think that was them exposing frailties in Manchester City's defence, and they offered nothing um, coming at us and the return of Bay was very very important for us Bay was fantastic rock solid def blocked and cleared everything that came his way Rojo I thought was solid at left back was substituted at half time I don't know why was that an injury or a tactical change I'm not sure we were 2 know what but it did work Daily Bling came off and just offered that defensive solid solidity and came forward and delivered some good balls in for Zlatan Ibrahimovic, or for Ibrahimovic, was fantastic today. It was absolutely brilliant. His hold-up play won most of his aerial duels, held up the ball really well, spread the play really well. I attempted, I think, four take-ons, the most in um, on on the whole pitch, really, on Leicester and Man United, and we were. We were all over them and they had no chance. They were awful. I thought we would get a tough game, but we didn't. I thought Mkhitaryan is now probably one of the first names on the team sheet because every time he plays, he offers that solidity, that not solidity, that fluidity that none of our players can do. Maybe Mata can do it, but he hasn't got the pace that Mkhitaryan offers and he offers something that none of our players can. I thought Pogba playing with Ander Herrera. Ander Herrera had a shaky, shaky couple, first couple minutes. But then he came back and he was what he does, just put himself about and win, wins the ball. He's no Kante, but he's fantastic for us and he's very important in the coming games. He has to be on top of his game because we need to get that top four. I thought Pogba was brilliant. I thought him... 
first 25 minutes, I wasn't quite sure, but then he grew into the game and he just really controlled the game. They didn't have a chance. I thought he had to be more tactically astute because of Carrick's absence and I thought he did that very well defensively, very good and his positional awareness was fantastic and the defence was perfect, Antonio Valencia was fantastic, no Martial came on which I'm a bit upset about, hopefully that there is nothing in the stories that we're hearing and I don't think there will be but Martial really needs to get back in this side because he could be a very, very important player coming into the next few games. Hopefully we can kick on and get that top four. Liverpool play Spurs at Anfield and if we can get a result there, if, they can, if there's a draw or even a loss for Liverpool, we can go above them. They move to sixth. We go to fifth and then Arsenal, there's still a possibility that we could go fourth. Don't think it will happen this week, but in the coming weeks when Arsenal play Liverpool, we are definitely getting top four and we are going to get top four. And if we don't, then there will be a, a serious, serious issue with our mentality. But at the moment, we're seeing free-flowing football from Manchester United and we've really picked up a gear. I think Mourinho gave them a real, real just reality check and it's proven that it's the right decision and Mourinho has delivered the goods again. Thank you for listening. Remember to comment, share and subscribe. Remember to follow me at Twitter at underscore sports reporter. Thank you for listening. I'm out. Sammy Ahmed.